Oxaloacetic acid is a crystalline organic compound with the chemical formula HO2CCO, CH2CO2H. Oxaloacetic acid, in the form of its conjugate base oxaloacetate, is a metabolic intermediate in many processes that occur in animals. It takes part in the gluconeogenesis, urea cycle, glyoxylate cycle, amino acid synthesis, fatty acid synthesis, and citric acid cycle. Properties Oxaloacetic acid undergoes successive deprotonations to give the dianion, HO2CC, O, CH2CO2HO2CC, O, CH2CO2H plus H plus pKa equals 2.22, O2CC, O, CH2CO2HO2CC, O, CH2CO2 plus H plus, pKa equals 3.89, at high pH. The analyzable proton is ionized, O2CC, O, CH2CO2O2CC, OCHCO2 plus H plus, pKa equals 13.03, the enol forms of oxaloacetic acid are particularly stable, so much so that the two tautoma have different melting points. Biosynthesis, oxaloacetate forms in several ways in nature. A principal route is upon oxidation of L malate catalyzed by malate dehydrogenase. It arises from the condensation of pyruvate with carbonic acid, driven by the hydrolysis of ATP, CH3C, O, CO2 plus HCO3 plus ATP O2 CCH2C, O, CO2 plus ADP plus pi, occurring in the mesophyll of plants, this process proceeds via phosphoenol pyruvate, catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase. Oxaloacetate can also arise from degradation of aspartic acid. Biochemical functions Oxaloacetate is an intermediate to the citric acid cycle, where it reacts with acetyl CoA to form citrate, catalyzed by citrate synthase. It is also involved in gluconeogenesis, urea cycle, glyoxylate cycle, amino acid synthesis, and fatty acid synthesis. Oxaloacetate is also a potent inhibitor of complex II. Gluconeogenesis Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic pathway consisting of a series of 11 enzyme catalyzed reactions. It results in the generation of glucose from non carbohydrates substrates. The beginning of this process takes place in the mitochondrial Euro unregistered trademark S matrix, where pyruvate molecules are found. A pyruvate molecule suffers a carboxylation by the intervention of pyruvate carboxylase enzyme activated by a molecule each of ATP and water. This reaction results in the formation of oxaloacetate. NADH reduces oxaloacetate to malate. This transformation is needed to transport the molecule out of the mitochondria. Once in the cytosol, malate is oxidized to oxaloacetate again using NAD+. Then oxaloacetate remains in the cytosol, where the rest of reactions will take place. Oxaloacetate is later decarboxylased and phosphorylated by the phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase and it becomes 2 phosphoenol pyruvate using a GTP as phosphate source. After this processes have occurred, some other chemical reactions take place until glucose is obtained. Urea cycle The urea cycle is a metabolic pathway that results in the formation of urea using two ammonium molecules and one bicarbonate molecule. This route commonly occurs in the hepatic cell of the liver. This NADH can be produced in two different ways. One of these uses oxaloacetate. In the cytosol, there are fumarate molecules. Fumarate can be transformed into malate by the actions of the enzyme fumarase. The malate suffers the actions of malate dehydrogenase enzyme and it becomes oxaloacetate in producing a molecule of NADH. After that, oxaloacetate will be recycled to aspartate as transaminases prefer these keto acids over the others. This recycling maintains the flow of nitrogen into the cell. Glyoxylate cycle The glyoxylate cycle is a variant of the citric acid cycle. It is an anabolic pathway occurring in plants and bacteria utilizing the enzymes. Isocitrate liaison malate synthase Some intermediate steps of the cycle are slightly different from the citric acid cycle. Nevertheless oxaloacetate has the same function in both processes. 
This means that oxaloacetate in this cycle also acts as the primary reactant and final product. In fact the oxaloacetate is a net product of the glyoxalate cycle because its loop of the cycle incorporates two molecules of acetyl-CoA. Fatty acid synthesis, in previous stages acetyl-CoA is transferred from the mitochondria to the cytoplasm where fatty acid synthase resides. The acetyl-CoA is transported as a citrate, which has been previously formed in the mitochondrial matrix from acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. This reaction usually initiates the citric acid cycle, but when there is no need of energy it is transported to the cytoplasm where it is broken down to cytoplasmatic acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Another part of the cycle requires NADPH for the synthesis of fatty acids. Part of this reducing power is generated when the cytosolic oxaloacetate is returned to the mitochondria as long as the internal mitochondrial layer is non-permeable for oxaloacetate. Firstly the oxaloacetate is reduced to malate using NADH. Then the malate is decarboxylated to pyruvate. Now this pyruvate can easily enter the mitochondria, where it is carboxylated again to oxaloacetate by pyruvate carboxylase. In this way, the transfer of acetyl-CoA that is from the mitochondria to the outside of the cell into the cytoplasm produces a molecule of NADH. The overall reaction, which is spontaneous, may be summarized as HCO3 plus ATP plus acetyl-CoA and ADP plus pi plus molanyl-CoA, amino acid synthesis, six essential amino acids and three non-essential are synthesized from oxaloacetate and pyruvate. Aspartate and alanine are formed from oxaloacetate and pyruvate, respectively, by transamination from glutamate. Asparagine, methanine, lysine, and threonine are synthesized by aspartate, therefore giving importance to oxaloacetate as without it, no aspartate would be formed and the following other amino acids would neither be produced. Oxalate biosynthesis, oxaloacetate produces oxalate by hydrolysis, oxaloacetate plus H2O oxalate plus acetate. This process is catalyzed by the enzyme oxalostase. Interactive pathway map, see also, dioxoxanic acid, glycolysis, oxidative phosphorylation, citric acid cycle, references.